Hey guys, Heidi Cooper here, Functional Medicine Practitioner, Licensed Esthetician. Today I want to talk to you about five adrenal fatigue skin symptoms. And so many people are dealing with adrenal fatigue these days, and I will cover a little bit later on different um, ways to assess or uncover if that's something that's really going on with you. But we're going to cover today five skin symptoms that can be correlative to um, adrenal fatigue. Now, your adrenal glands are right above your kidneys and they produce a number of different hormones. So when there is adrenal fatigue going on, it can really create a discombobulation or an imbalance of some of these hormones being produced and that can really be problematic and can be a result of many different symptoms. But we're gonna go over five of the skin symptoms that we see most often in our office today. So number one is dark circles around the eyes. If you're getting dark circles around the eyes, often, even after you've gotten a great night's sleep, and you're still suffering with a lot of these dark circles under the eyes, that can be a result of adrenal fatigue simply because the kidneys are so taxed. They're having a hard time removing toxins and that starts burdening the body and it shows up around the eyes. There's a really cool face mapping chart. I know clients of mine have seen those before. Um, you can search for them online or reach out to me. I'd be happy to send one to you. And it shows the different areas of the face and what they correlate with internally. And around the eyes is always the kidneys. And so um, something to be aware of there if that's something that you've really been struggling with. Number two is hyperpigmentation. Hyperpigmentation can precede a lot of the other adrenal fatigue symptoms. So if you've been getting these little brown patchy spots, I know I've dealt with them before when I've had adrenal fatigue going on, it can really be um, a result of too much ACTH, which is adrenocorticotropic hormone in excess of that that's influencing melanos, the melanocytes, which is the melanin producing cells. And when you've got it, those melanin producing cells producing too much melanin, that can be a problematic and that's where some of those pigmentation spots, those brown spots come from. So that excess of the ACTH is really the result of um, the adrenal fatigue and then in turn the pigmentation. So number three can be acne. Acne is can be an issue from an influx of the cortisol. When you've got too much cortisol being produced, it creates more oil or sebum production. And then you can, as a result, you can have acne issues there as well. So if you've got a bunch of acne or weird breakouts going on that you haven't had before, or even oilier skin, you can have dehydrated skin, but still oily skin where it's superficially dehydrated, but you've got all this oil production going on, then that could be a sign of adrenal fatigue as well. Number four is dry skin. So you can have dry skin because um, the adrenal glands produce aldosterone and aldosterone is responsible for hydration levels in the body. And so if you have chronically dry skin, that can be a result of adrenal fatigue as well. And you can even go a step further and um, have produced a thyroid issue if it's gone on for a long time as well. And that, that also could create really dry skin issues. Um, and then number five is premature aging. If you feel like the skin is aging prematurely, then that can be a result of cortisol, really the stress hormone that's produced in the adrenals, creating issues with collagen synthesis or collagen production. You will not have that collagen production going on if that cortisol is is in balance, out of balance all of the time and really creating issues there. So just some things to keep in mind if you feel like you're aging prematurely, um, you've got acne, pigmentation, dark circles around the eyes, dry skin, all of these things really can be a result, reflective, it can mirror what's going on internally. And until that piece is addressed, those challenges will continue to be an issue. So we always want to look at what can we do to lower stress levels. This can even be relationships with people. If there are stressful relationships going on, anything that you start to be aware that's causing you stress, the less that you have of that interaction going on, the better. And of course, focusing on sleep is really important. Um, you can even put um, Himalayan salt or sea salt in your water. That can be helpful with adrenal issues. Um, we work with a supplement in our office called GA that can be very helpful too for adrenal issues. Um, I think if you're 
a person that lives a pretty high stress lifestyle, I would recommend working with some sort of supplementation like that on a regular basis. I know in my life I live kind of high stress all the time, so I make sure that I'm always working with things that are supportive there. But um, there are also labs that you can do. There's um, a cortisol, like a saliva cortisol test, um, a diurnal cortisol test that can be done. Um, there's different lab work to test for some of these hormone levels, blood, um, blood lab work. Um, and then I'll also put a link below to a questionnaire that might help you assess like what some of those stress levels are there as well that might be helpful for you. So hope that information was helpful for you. I know I personally have suffered with adrenal fatigue before and um, have really found some amazing strategies to deal with that and just become very aware of when my stress level starts to get high um, being aware of trying to do what I can to lower it and working with some of these other tools to help lessen the burden on my body as well. So I hope that information was helpful for you. If it was, please like and share this video. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. And don't forget to download my free ebook, Healthy Hormones, Happy Skin. Have a super fantastic day. Health and happiness. Thanks so much.